Last year's nuclear accident at Fukushima Daiichi took its toll on many farms around the area. Farmers were forced to stop selling their crops for fear of radioactive contamination. But now Fukushima Prefecture has begun checking the radioactive level of rice before being shipped. On Saturday, officials tested 14 bags of rice weighing about 400 kilograms harvested in Nihon Matsu City. The local government has decided to check all bags of rice before shipment this year. Radioactivity levels exceeding the government's safety limits were detected in rice harvested in the prefecture last year. It took only 15 seconds to check the contamination level of each 30 kilogram bag. Officials attached labels verifying the safety of the rice after passing the test. All 14 bags tested met the government's safety standard. <laughs> I was relieved at hearing that no nuclear contamination was detected in the rice. I would like to continue providing consumers with safe produce. That's our duty. Harvesting of the mainstay Koshihikari brand rice will go into full gear in late September. On the 25th of August 2012, Ogumi Community Center, Ryozen Area, Date City, Fukushima Prefecture, Japan. The first farmers association in Japan was founded in this place. Zero point eight six four microgray per hour. One point zero one, one point zero three micro C per hour. This is radiation counter map of the Fukushima Daiichi accident of Professor Yukio Hayakawa of Gunma University, Japan. This place is about 50 kilometers from Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. And orange color daily. This is rice planting area, but this year rice is not produced. Fifteen, fourteen point, fifteen point, two one micro C delta power.
Most of Japan's nuclear reactors are now offline following the Fukushima accident. The result is a sharp rise in demand for natural gas. Some utility companies are stepping up efforts to import it from the United States. Officials of an electricity firm and a gas company from western Japan are visiting Texas. They're inspecting the planned construction site of a liquefaction facility. They're also checking possible delivery routes. Natural gas, known as shale gas, is found in rock deposits deep underground. The U.S. is the world's largest producer. The two utilities plan to begin importing 2.2 million tons of liquefied natural gas annually from 2017 after receiving permission from the U.S. government. Japan relies on countries in Asia and the Middle East for much of its natural gas imports. Utility officials are expecting U.S. natural gas to be about 40 percent cheaper. A U.S. think tank has released a satellite image which it says shows a covering over a building at a military site in Iran implicated in nuclear development. It says the covering may be an attempt to conceal nuclear material. The Institute for Science and International Security, or ISIS, published the image on Friday. It was taken on August 15th. The complex outside Tehran is the suspected testing site for high explosives for nuclear weapons. The image shows the roof of one building shrouded with pink material. In another photo from July 25th, the covering is missing. Similar work is underway at another building in the compound. Experts suspect that the facility is undergoing cleanup work to remove any evidence of nuclear material. The work includes building demolitions and soil replacement. ISIS says the covering may be intended to hide the facility from satellite monitoring. The International Atomic Energy Agency is demanding an on-site inspection of the facility at an early date. The agency had talks with Iran on Friday, but failed to reach agreement on inspecting the site.